Hi guys, this is Larry the Barberman and as part of my lockdown back to work PPE barber tutorials, today we're gonna to talk about how to put on and take off your PPE equipment safely and correctly. Now there's gonna be seven steps and the first step we're gonna do is identify what PPE I have personally chosen to protect myself. So I have the disposable apron. The reason I want this disposable apron is to A, create a layer between myself and the client, make them feel comfortable that my clothes are not touching their clothes. Also, I want to protect myself from them potentially spitting and their respiratory droplets depositing within my clothes. So that's why I would use the temporary apron and their pennies. Also, I have the safety glasses. These have got uh, panoramic uh, vision. They're very clear. They're mist proof as well. So these will protect my eyes because again, if I get spat at by the customer accidentally, obviously, um, their respiratory droplets won't go into my eyes, even though the risk of contracting the COVID virus is very low through the eyes. It can happen nonetheless. So that's why I've got the safety goggles. Hand sanitizer, 70% alcohol. Again, this is an absolute must in, in order to put on your PPE safely. You need the sanitizer or wash your hands. I'll be using a KN95 respirator, which is a Chinese standard respirator. And I have the gloves. Again, I want to protect myself from any fluid contacts with the client, albeit sweating, or you should cut them, or when you're shaving under the nose, mucus, or when you get near the mouth, saliva, those sorts of things. So this is the line of defense that I'll be taking. So let's get down to it. As you may or may not know, the first thing you do before you do any application of PPE is first sanitize your hands. So I'll be doing that with the gel by way of putting the dollop in the center of my hand, rubbing my hands together on the back, in between the fingers and the wrist as well. So I'm all nice and clean to apply my clean, uncontaminated PPE. So first step is to put the apron on. How we do that, we're gonna open it out. Loop goes over the head. So I'm just checking the microphone's not on there. It's, it's gonna be like being in a plastic bag. The handles, what you want to aim to do here is tie the back into a bow. So when you do take the apron off, you don't, it hasn't got that snappy, snappiness thing going. So you agitate the, the apron and you could potentially cause germs to go over if you flash it off quickly. So that's why it's said that you should actually put a bow into it. So we've got the apron on. The next thing I'm gonna apply is my respirator mask, my N95. So get the loops, put it under your, sorry, put it over your nose, put the loops over your ears. Pull this down. Once you've positioned the mask, you then put both hands and you just mold the top part over the bridge of your nose. So what you're doing, you're creating a tight seal here. And then you do a seal breath test. So you inhale and exhale quite forcefully. And what you're doing, you're checking for any leaks in air. So just adjust it slightly until you've got that air leak out of it. So that's it, I'm all set here. 
What I'm going to do just temporarily so you can hear me speaking properly, I'm just going to remove this part. Pay special attention to how I take this off. Loops away from the face. Yeah? So just forget that I've taken that off and then I'm going, going to go into the, the rest of the routine. The next step would be to place on your eyewear. You can go for the face shields, but today I'm just in the mood for wearing these uh, goggles. Like I said, they're safety glasses. Like I said, they've got panoramic vision, so you can see very clearly. So I'm going to put those on next. You can skip this if you want, but the correct thing to do is apply sanitizer once again. I'm assuming that these uh, safety experts are doing that because they might think that the glasses may have a slight contamination. So they're on your face now and you've re-sanitized your hands. And also it's good practice to sanitize your hands before you put the gloves on, which is the next step. So grab your gloves by the cuff. Try to avoid going near the finger area. And that's good as well if your clients see you're not touching the finger area. Okay, so, and pull those all the way up. So that's you fully kitted out and protected. Sorry, let me just ignore that I, I actually took this off. So this would be me in all my glory. I'm ready, I've got my gloves on, my apron on, and I'm ready to rumble, ready to cut here safely, protecting myself, both my body, my hands, my respiratory tract, and my eyes. So now it's time to take off my PPE safely and correctly. And we're gonna start by first discarding the gloves. So how we discard the gloves, I simply put my hand down there, I pinch it and I roll it off slowly and what you'll notice is that right now I'm only exposed to the clean side and uncontaminated side of the glove. I then put that into this hand, then I put my finger on the clean side and again I rolled the contaminated glove into that. I'm only exposed at this stage to the clean side. So I grasp that like that. And what you can then do is remove the loop from your apron. You bring it down. You place the contaminated gloves there, which are on the clean side. Find, didn't want to do but I've done it gently. You go underneath your apron, you fold it over, and then you then hold the contaminated gloves that are on the clean side there. Again, go under, cross it over. So right now we're only exposed to the clean side of the apron. And then you've got the gloves in there, and you just roll it gently gently and you've only got the clean side of your apron now and you can discard the two things into a foot bin. Next you remove your eyewear, pull it away from your face, your respirator again just make sure that you grab the loops, lift it out and pull it away from your face. At this stage, you can discard this or put it into an appropriate storing container. Next, to finish, you simply sanitize your hands once again. Rubbing inside, 
the back of your hands, in between your fingers, and your wrist. And that is how you doff or take off your PPE safely and correctly. And this, when a new client comes in, you just repeat this whole process all over again. So there you go. That's another uh, demonstration by Larry the Barberman. If you like what you saw, hit the subscription button. Give me a like. I welcome comments below how you think my choice of PPE was and how you think PPE will feature in the barbershop both now and in the future. If you want to know where I personally got my PPE, I'll leave a link below. Please don't leave this in the comment, where did you get it from? I'll leave a link and something on the screen for you. So until next time, that's Larry the Barberman. Thank you.